in the tropics. Well, we've got some developments here. The National Hurricane Center has now officially tagged this storm that we've been tracking for a couple of days. Potential tropical cyclone number nine. It'll be named Helene once it uh, does get a name. And right now you can see that low pressure is going to track from the Caribbean waters into the Gulf by the time we get uh, probably uh, tomorrow into Wednesday. But look at this. It's going to turn into a category one hurricane. Then it's going to quickly develop into a two as it gets around the Big Bend area of Florida, the Florida Panhandle coming ashore there. And look at that. It's going to come very near to the upstate by the time we get to Friday morning. So we're going to be tracking this. It does have the potential to bring a lot of rain in our area, but again, all this area you see shaded in red. Those are the areas that we're going to watch out. That's what we call the cone of uncertainty, really. So this storm could wobble a bit once we get into there. Here's what it's going to do, putting future track into motion. We've got a cold front that's uh, coming through our area or pushing toward our area. But look at this. Once Helene kind of gets up into the area, it's going to push up and basically just kill that cold front altogether. But again, we're going to see the chances of rain really start to increase Thursday night into our area into Friday. Your seven day forecast looks like this. We're going to see temperatures today get up to the upper 80s once again, starting to drop into uh, Tuesday, Wednesday by Thursday. We're back into the 70s, but look at that. We go from isolated afternoon thunderstorms to a 60% chance Thursday night into Friday, and those storm chances will stay with us through the weekend, but they'll just drop a bit in the mountains of western North Carolina. You'll see temperatures getting back into the 70s by Wednesday and falling from there. It's going to feel more like fall by the time we get in the middle of the week, but again, we're going to be tracking this storm through you, so stay with Kendra, our chief meteorologist this afternoon. She will be watching how this develops once we get more updates. Haley.